It's, it's also the thing, it depends where you've come from in terms of your, um, like where, where your roots are musically. If you come from the, the say, more Bob Dylan point, point of view where you record like on the Nashville skyline in like five hours, or you, you come from Brian Wilson's point of view where you slave over an album for years and years and years, I think that makes a difference. I mean, certainly my, my influences are more from the Brian Wilson <laughs> school of thought where you, you take your t a long time to work out harmonies, you try everything. It's not a case of just bashing it out, you know. Although I wish sometimes I was more like that. I'm trying to let go. I mean, that's the whole thing. You end up finding yourself, you do interviews and, and people ask you certain things and it's not until you're asked you actually think about it or you realise certain things. You know? Okay, and, and where do you come from, from? From what sort of school? Do you come from the Brian Wilton school or the Bob Dylan? Yeah. Um, uh, I, th I think I've always been... Um, I've always been really sort of taken with people that can almost sort of like symphonise pop music, like the Brian Wilsons, you know, I think. But, you know, I haven't said that. I think Dylan, Dylan was a genius in his own right in terms of the way that, you know, he could... Um, the way he could write, and the you know, and the way that he could connect with people, mm. with you know, th and the time that he came out, of course, was like a pivotal time as well. So he was kind of like a, a filter for that sort of era. People like Brian Wilson, you know, they're kind of almost it's almost like a classical thing, you know, the arrangement, you know, making everything work together. Whereas um, Dylan's a lot more sort of intuitive, you know, just. They're opposite it's a ends. feeling. They're opposite ends of everything. I mean, then I mean, there's, there's more schools than, than obviously than just those two. But just as an example, it's maybe why I've always found it so hard to let go is as all my favourite bands tend to be the bands who slave away over albums for a long, long time. But know. isn't but isn't it also then then when you write a song or, or when you record a song, mm. then you hear everything that goes wrong. Yeah. But people don't. Well, no, but that, that's the perspective you lose big time. I mean, I, I can't... Even, you know, every record, even the new album, there's probably things that I'd, I'd, I'd want to change if we, if we had longer. But do you, do you listen to it still, the album? The new album I do. Yeah? Mm. I don't listen to the first one. That's why I no. feel more confident about the new one, because I actually do listen to it. it mm. usually, I usually need to leave it a while so you can sort of gain, gain some space between it, because it's really hard to not listen to it as the person who made it and sort of think about your own parts and whether you played them as well as you could, you know. It takes a long time before you listen to it as a, as a body of work rather than, you know, oh, that's not quite right or that's not quite right, you know. I mean, it's, it's also like um, letting go a bit more. It's, it's kind of makes the tracks more mysterious. If you're just controlling everything and you're just writing songs on your own, you know where they're going to go. You, you have a pretty good idea where they're going to go, whereas if you bring other people into it, then there is a sense of mystery. You don't know where the tracks are going to end up. And it's more fun to listen to. I can listen to it objectively, this album, because, you know... So, but that is then the biggest difference, songwriting-wise, that you've let the, the other people of the band more come in? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, like I say, the first album, was, a lot of it was written before Aaron was even in the band. So you're talking about really like songs written on an acoustic guitar, um, whereas this album, having toured so much, you realise there's a whole n another dynamic that needs to be explored, you know, because you suddenly realise what makes people move and what makes people stand with their arms crossed, and you don't really want to factor that into what you do, but you inevitably do. You know, the fundamental songwriting thing is always a personal thing. That's not influenced, but the, in terms of how you interpret your songs in the studio. How much, how forceful they're going to be, or whether they're just going to be completely acoustic songs. Um, I think that's been influenced by playing live so much, you know, because you know you're going to play play them to people.